Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. Ukraine is preparing to enter into large-scale production of versatile ground robotic platforms for frontline operations, as announced by Mihailo Fedorov, the Minister of Digital Transformation. Fedorov highlighted that these robotic platforms are expected to revolutionize ongoing conflicts and will be deployed on the battlefield in the coming months. The functionality of these platforms spans various tasks, including neutralizing enemy positions and equipment, handling mine-related activities, evacuating injured personnel, and transporting ammunition. Fedorov underscored that the primary objective of these ground robots is to reduce human involvement in combat situations, providing an asymmetrical response to the enemy's numerical superiority, similar to the role played by drones. Fedorov disclosed that the Brave One cluster has conducted tests on over 50 of these robotic complexes in controlled environments. Subsequently, hundreds of platforms of different configurations will be procured through the United 24 initiative and assigned to the Ukrainian Armed Forces. Launched on May 5, 2022, the United 24 initiative is a Ukrainian government-led effort to raise funds for Ukraine's needs in the Russo-Ukrainian war. Furthermore, Fedorov mentioned that more than 140 robotic systems are listed on the Brave One platform with 96 successfully passing defense evaluations and 14 standardized according to NATO criteria. Notably, systems like the Shah Blaya robotic turret are already in active service on the front lines. The Shah Blaya system is an automated turret engineered to withstand bullets and equipped to mount machine guns, grenade launchers, and other weaponry. Featuring video and thermal cameras, as well as remote control capabilities, operators can manage the turret's firepower from a secure location, effectively covering targets up to 2 kilometers away. That's all for now, see you later.